I like, um, I've been listening to Alessia Carr a lot. I'm going on tour with her next year, but I've been a fan of hers for a while. And uh, there's this new guy named Omer, O-M-E-R, who is next level. And uh, who else? I like Halsey a lot. She's, she's really hot right now. And uh, this guy, Ezekiel, I think I'm pronouncing his name right. I don't know, I just, I'm a big fan of the music. There's a song called New Romance, which is like, woo, it's crazy. Anyway, uh, who else? Whole bunch of people. But I'm an old soul, man. I like a lot of old stuff. So I'm usually listening to like Sam Cooke or uh, uh, Willie Nelson or, or something, Billie Holiday or something like that. So, yeah. I guess that my favorite part about performing is, is getting to connect with everybody. You know, if people come to listen to live music, that hopefully means that they're going to pay attention and, and listen to what uh, the three of us on stage have to say. And, and uh, I guess the, the, the least favorite part of it is um, packing everything up and throwing it into the car at the end of each night and, and driving off. But um, definitely it, with touring, uh, as I've been touring the past year, the, the most fulfilling part is, is easily getting on stage and, and trying to uh, connect with everybody. I think the audience should leave with all of my merch and I should leave with all of their money. No. Um, <laughs> uh, well, so Sean Mullins is the drummer, and uh, he um, he's been he's been with me since on this project since day one. Uh, he's on the record, and um, he's he's worked with me on everything. And uh, Jesse Bielenberg is the other player. He plays like bass and keyboards and stuff. And um, He's actually new. He's he uh, he's hopped on just on this last tour with X Ambassadors, um, and and we've been working together. I've known him from school for a while, but uh, we've been working together for a couple months. Um, they're both just incredibly gifted, he's very talented, and, and with Sean especially, just because he was on the recordings, it just made a lot of sense to have him on the live band too, because the drums are so important for these songs. Um, can't really like I've played a lot of shows solo, uh, but, but it doesn't really translate without a beat or any sort of rhythm. So my songs are very rhythm dependent. But um, yeah, they're both great. Cool. I'm from Pittsburgh, so my favorite my favorite team. I'm a baseball fan, so I like the Pirates a lot. Um, but they haven't been good until recently, so I don't have very many good memories when I was younger with the Pirates. But uh, I went to one of the NLDS games a couple years ago against the Cardinals, and that was really awesome. I remember I'm a big hockey fan too, and I graduated the day I graduated high school. The, the Penguins won. Uh, it was a game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals in '09. It was crazy, it blew my mind. You know, we had the commencement ceremony that day, and then we watched the game on like a big tarp outside somebody's backyard. Just a graduation party or something, and they happen to have a game on. I lost my mind. It was awesome. Also, go Spurs because I like basketball and they have fundamentals. <laughs> Gotta go Spurs. <laughs> it's the most beautiful basketball. Well, the Warriors are killing it right now, but I was a Warriors fan. I still am. I like basketball. What are you gonna do in Pittsburgh, man? Like a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people from Pittsburgh when I was in high school were Cavs fans for sure, and then LeBron left. And now he's back, so I don't know what the vibe is in Pittsburgh. If we had a basketball team, it'd be it'd be too much, I think. I don't know if we could handle a basketball team yet. It's craziness. We all just like hockey and football and whatever. I love Pittsburgh. <laughs> Yo, Pits Pittsburgh is the best. <laughs> On the last day of the tour with ex ambassadors and Skylar Gray. Um, we were in San Diego, and that was the best show for, for us because we were the first opener, and there were two openers, so you never know what to expect with crowds in those size rooms. Uh, but everybody, the whole tour was so great. And um, on the last day, X Ambassadors had this song called Naked, and, uh, and Skylar's team went out on stage uh, during that song uh, in bath towels, and, uh, and, and Skylar definitely flashed the lead singer of X Ambassadors, and it was a, a night to remember. It was very cool. But she did it like facing them, so the crowd, it was very PG. It was, it was, it was hilarious. Uh, and then that same night when we went out to play, we got pranked, 
and uh, ex investors went to like some adult store and they got a bunch of um, phallic shaped uh, paraphernalia, like whistles and like bubbles and stuff, and they threw them all over our gear. And so we, we launched a bunch of like small little dicks in the crowd after, at the end of the set. It was, it was pretty fun. That's that. That was the tour. <laughs> uh, I'm actually, I don't read as much as I should, but uh, I like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of just comedy, so I, I'll read any comedian's memoir or, you know, biogra autobiography or something. I think uh, for whatever reason, I relate to comedians or, or something like that uh, a lot more than any other. I, I just don't, I, I can't pay attention long enough when I'm reading. I get sidetracked or get distracted with some idea or something. And I get, I was, we were actually just talking about this in the car earlier. When I'm reading, uh, I'll have a completely different situation going on in my head. And then I'm 10 pages in and I have no idea what I just read. But I'm very consciously like reading the words. Like I, I can read out loud if I wanted to, but I'm still thinking of whatever else is, it's weird, I'm a, yeah, it's weird, yeah. So I see, it happens to me and I just throw the book, I just throw it in the fire. Just like, let's watch football or something. There's a, there's a few things in the pipeline, definitely working on uh, writing for a handful of other people. Um, it's kind of my day job uh, as a songwriter. I'm, I like collaborating and I like, uh, when I'm not on the road, I'm not working on my own stuff, I'm writing for, for other artists. And um, other than that, um, once I get off the off tour here, I'm just gonna focus on my own stuff. There's an album that's definitely happening at some point. And, uh, that's all I can really disclose on that, but uh, there's some other stuff going on. We're going to work on a couple videos maybe and, uh, and some covers and just see what happens. There's this guy named Josh Harrison who plays for the Pirates and I've been trying to be his friend for years, but I only recently got the blue check mark on Twitter, so hopefully now he's going to listen to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just, hey, what's up, mom? How's it going? <laughs> This is the cute, cool. To the camera or to, to you? Camera. Okay, cool, see? <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Kevin Garrett and this is the cute.